I'm Ben Diesel, and this is the Dropbox for October 5th, 2011. DC Comics begins this week with Action Comics number 2. In his weakest moment, Superman is taken down. But by whom? And if the world wasn't ready for a man with superpowers, they're utterly unprepared for the rage of a Superman cornered. Written by Grant Morrison, with art by Rags Morales. In Batwing number 2, he is called Massacre, and he brings death. What does the soldier in service of Batman Incorporated do when he's met his match? When he's been brought so low and been wounded so badly. What does he do when lost superheroes begin turning up as victims? Batwing fights back. Written by Judd Winnick, with art by Ben Oliver. In Detective Comics number 2, Batman sets his sight on the Gotham Ripper, who in turn has his sights on Batman. Meanwhile, Bruce Wayne explores a budding romance with television journalist Charlotte Rivers, who's visiting Gotham City to uncover the Bruceum slayings, while also trying to uncover Bruce's own mystery. But time is running out as both Commissioner Gordon and Batman work to uncover the true identity of this new serial killer. Written by Tony S. Daniel, with art by Ryan Wynn. In Green Arrow number 2, after taking down members of a celebrity gang, of privileged, decadent teens who buy their powers in stage fights with unsuspecting victims, Green Arrow finds himself in the crosshairs of the entire team. It's Ollie Queen versus the dozen thrill kill killers while the world watches live. Written by J.T. Cruel with art by Dan Jurgens. In Hawk and Dove number two, Hawk and Dove continue their investigation of the enigmatic Alexander Quirk. Who is he? What does he want? A secret laboratory might hold the answers, but it might also spell the end for Hawk and Dove. To top things off, the monster watching our heroes from the shadows finally makes his move, and he's got a terrifying new partner. Written by Sterling Gates, with art by Rob Leefield. In Huntress number one, by the end of this hot new miniseries, the Huntress will have the largest price on her head in the DC Universe history. What will the Huntress do that warrants such a death mark, and who puts it there? The jaw-dropping events will be revealed as the Huntress heads home to Italy and embarks on a mission that defines her life. Don't miss out, because the story will tie into upcoming events in Bird of Prey. Written by Paul Levitz, with art by Marcus Toe. In Justice League International number 2, the United Nations new international team of heroes must learn to work together, and fast, if they're going to discover the mystery behind the giant alien signalmen who are appearing all over the globe. Can Booster Gold lead his team to victory, or will they fall? Written by Dan Jurgens, with art by Aaron Lepristi. In Red Lantern's number 2, on a war-ravaged world where invading forces fight insurgent forces, the innocent always suffer the most. And when a child finally screams with red-hot rage at the madness around her, she's answered by her weapon of retribution, Atrocitus. Written by Peter Milligan, with art by Ed Bennis. In Static Shock number 2, Static finds himself the target of Dark Forces as Viral and the Slate Gang unleash their deadly trap. Will Static's debut end before it's even started? Written and drawn by Scott McDaniel. In Stormwatch number 2, the covert team of sci-fi superheroes known as Stormwatch must not only battle the Earth's moon, but find a way to hide its monstrous metamorphosis from the rest of the Earth. How? They're working on it. Meanwhile, the recruitment of Midnighter goes poorly, and we learn why Martian Manhunter is a member of the team. Written by Paul Cornell, with art by Miguel Sepulpita. In Supernatural number 1, on an academic break while at Stanford, Sam Winchester visits the United Kingdom on what is meant to be a sleepy trip, but on his first day he meets the alluring Emma of the Isles, and his visit gets a thousand times less boring. Written by Brian Wood, with art by Grant Bond. Finally, in The Swamp Thing number 2, Alec Holland thought he knew the history of the Swamp Thing, but he was wrong. The creature's roots run deeper than he knows, and the Parliament of Trees intends to make him understand the responsibility he wants so desperately to avoid. With this issue, the mythology of the Swamp Thing branches out in ways you never saw coming. Written by Scott Snyder, with art by Yannick Paquette.
Marvel begins this week with Avengers 1959, number one. It's a tail end of the fabulous 50s. Nick Fury and his Avengers begin their secret mission hunting down Nazi supervillains. Men and women relentlessly preparing to unleash hell in a troubled world barely holding on to peace. Only to find the Avengers have what appear to be serious competition in their manhunt for these escaped ubermenschen, when their mission is suddenly compromised by the interference from an unlikely source. Written and drawn by Howard Chaikin. And Deadpool number 44, it turns out Dr. Ella Whitby's obsession with Deadpool goes way deeper than anyone could have imagined. Even Deadpool. And his imagination has been said as almost Berkheimerian in scope. How bad is her obsession? For starters, she's been collecting his severed body parts for the last few years and has kept them frozen in her apartment. Written by Daniel Way, with art by Carlo Barberi. In Moon Knight number 6, Moon Knight gets one step closer to the Kingpin of Los Angeles and uses Ultron as bait. But in doing so, he may have unleashed a hell the West Coast cannot survive. Written by Brian Michael Bendis, with art by Alec Maliev. In Mystic number 3, just as Giselle thought she had found a place in a palace, she is confronted by a prophecy she fears she can never live up to, and the malicious scheming of Felice and her posse. How far will Felice go to oust Giselle and take what she believes is her rightful place at the top of the pack? Magic will go haywire when wielded in fury and this penultimate chapter filled with ruthlessness, romance, and robots. Written by G. Willow Wilson with art by David Lopez. In Spider Island, Heroes for Hire number one, what chance do Misty's ragtag band of street heroes have at keeping the wild hordes of infected from storming out of Manhattan, especially when the team members themselves are victims of the spider plague? And can the SWAT survive, or will this crisis destroy the already fragile heroes concept? Written by Dan Abbott, with art by Annie Lannan. In Spider-Man Power Comes Responsibility number 7, it's a brand new day for Spider-Man, but every day eventually becomes night. And will the sun set on Spidey forever when venomous foe Eddie Brock returns with a new bag of tricks? Long time love Mary Jane Watson resurfaces with a startling secret, and the bloodthirsty family of Craven the Hunter stalks the most dangerous game of all. Written by Dan Slott, with art by John Ramada Jr. In Thunderbolts 164, Baron Zemo returns. In the midst of their greatest escape in history, will the return of Captain America's best fiend push the Thunderbolts to making a devil's pack with a certain red menace? Written by Jeff Parker, with art by Kev Walker. In X-23, number 15, X-23 and the Fantastic Four finally meet the new face of chaos. With the world turned upside down, X-23 and her new teammates must find a way to work together to stop it before it's too late. But what message does Chaos bring X-23 about her future? And can she bear to destroy it before she finds out? Written by Marjolaine Liu, with art by Phil Noto. In X-Men 19, Doctor Doom has betrayed our heroes and sold them out to the evil leaders of the Scorpius people. You know these villains are serious because they took down the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. The only one who can save them all is Magneto. The two greatest villains of the Marvel Universe face off in the climactic conclusion to this dimension-spanning story. Written by Victor Greshler, with art by George Molina. Finally, in X-Men Schism number 5, it all comes down to this. After years of fighting side by side, the X-Men are torn in half. On one side, X-Men team leader Cyclops. On the other, X-Men mainstay Wolverine. Between them lies the fate of mutant kind and surrounding them the foes who want to end them forever. Be here for the conclusion of the story that will set the stage for the X-Men universe for years to come. Written by Jason Aaron, with art by Adam Kubert. Thanks for watching the Dropbox. Come back next week for more comic related news and releases. Bada peace.